Well, hey everybody, I'm back with another video. I just seen a comment, and this is why I'm making a video. Um, they they commented on a Rust Lock video where I was talking about the quality of these things not being too good uh, with the one that I got several years ago, actually. Um, and I, I replied to the guy, but I thought, you know what, let me just kind of make a video out of it. Why not? It gives me an excuse to make a video. Um, but yeah, first of all, um, sold a bunch of these uh, during uh, December and even January they're selling. So I appreciate all of you guys for buying this awesome uh, log and record book. Um, if you want one, there's one. I'll have Amazon affiliate links below so you guys can check that out. Um, so I appreciate you guys getting that, um, as always. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, but so it was like years ago. I think it was before the... Um, the pestilence that came these these uh rust locks used to be really really high quality every one of these that i've gotten and uh then i noticed i bought one with a blue karenite uh scale and it was really bad really really bad in fact i sent it back to case and they were kind of like I, if i remember the story i haven't watched the video in forever but they said something like this is the best we can do and it still had like they closed the gap which means, you know, they can fix stuff. They just let it go. But they closed the gap, but you can see where it was still kind of, um, like, like squished. It was weird. But, so, um, I responded to the guy. I said, um, I told him, I said that, you know, I go to Cabela's and Bass Pro every now and then. And I see, uh, I look at Rust Locks. I, I love Rust Locks. And, um, at least I used to. And they still have the gaps. Like, almost every one that I see has the gap on the back spring and not only that but they're thinner they're lighter and then when you go to open these things i notice that the blade steel is thinner at least it feels cheaper and thinner so that's pretty much it and that's the gist of the video but i figured um why not look at these things also how do you guys open your rust lock i usually open one-handed opening i either grab it like this with my finger and kind of swing it open um you can do it with your thumb as well but usually i have to transition to my finger but i think that's kind of the easiest these things are really awesome they've been making with a clip now this one i think is a jade bone i can't remember this one's a special edition um let's see how did i do that i just did it on camera this one i believe is older and you, the blade steel on this one is actually i think thicker than this one so uh, just barely maybe it's hard to tell in the video i could mic it actually why don't we do that i have a mic right here conveniently crazy why do i have a micrometer for let's find out maybe i'm just thinking feeling uh making stuff up let's find out so back here where the tang is we're looking at right at it's not one um we're looking at 92, 96, my bad. So 0 0.96. Yeah, they're about the same thickness. This one's slightly thinner, not noticeable. This one's a little older. No, maybe it's not older. I don't know. You can actually check that. I just don't remember what they are. Let's see. That one's about the same as this one here, but this one is slightly thicker. Just by a little bit. Special edition. I don't know. I'm telling you the new ones. I don't have a new one, but they are thinner. Um, at least they seem thinner. I don't know. I haven't I haven't taken this to the um, Cabela's or whatever and started miking blades. I don't know if they'd really appreciate that. Look at the case special edition. Now, this one used to belong to an uncle of mine that passed away. And I got this as a, uh, I guess, like a hand-me-down or whatever you would call it. I think my aunt was selling uh, some of his knife collection. And um, my mom ended up buying them for me for a Christmas gift. I, I think I told that story once before and somebody said that the knife should have went to his sons. And, well, he didn't have a son, so there <laughs> like whatever so he had a daughter though but you think she doesn't care about knives so maybe though 
because she has a son now. Um, maybe when they get older, maybe this will go back to um, their family, you know? So we'll see. Um, what else can I say? Dude, SHOT Show came out. And there's some awesome, awesome guns that are released that I think I want to talk about. I know it's a knife channel, but I haven't been buying a lot of knives. The other thing that the comments said was you're either buying the $50 Chinese knives or $300 American-made knives. And I'm thinking I haven't bought any $300 knife for like at least two or three years. So that's kind of what's killing me in the whole collecting anyway. Oakley's here. She's saying hi. My mouth. So that's pretty much it. It's a short video. Hope you enjoy it. Um, man, I can't wait for summer. I could tell you that much. This cold weather sucks. Anyway, enjoy. Have a good one. See you next time.